Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, today's video is going to be about the new Netflix series, Cursed. So Cursed is a re-adaptation of the legend The King Arthur, um, who's been adapted many and many times before. But this time the story focuses on Lady Lake, named Nimue, who is played by Catherine Langford. It's the story of a young fae, um, and fays are like magical creatures. They can be magicians and other stuff. I'm gonna touch on that a little bit later. Um, and uh, her whole village burned because of a crusade that the church is leading right now against the fays. She lost uh, her entire family, her friends. And when she was dying, her mom gave her a sword um, I suppose that is Excalibur, even though it's not the same name, that she asked her to give to Merlin. And we are following this young lady uh, trying to search for Merlin, um, decide if she's, she's struggling with what she's gonna do with the sword, since it's the sword of the first kings, and it's supposed to decide who's gonna be the true king of England. So everybody wants it, and it puts her in danger. And um, apparently the sword is some kind of evil sword who makes who makes you do terrible things. It's like the ring from the Lord of the Rings. It's a, it's that type of object. Like if you have it, you're you're super powerful and stuff. But in in exchange, like the sword takes like some part of humanity from you and kind of turn kind of turns you into a monster or something like that. And yeah, she's struggling with that. This review may or may not contain spoilers. Um, honestly, I don't really know yet if I even need to spoil it. So what did I think about this show? Um, I have mixed feelings because while I didn't hate uh, watching it, it wasn't that great of a show. Um, I watched some reviews on the internet and the reviews are harsher than I am but maybe it's because I'm a little bit biased because I like some of the actors Cursed. The story is not boring. It has different takes on the author's story and this is an enjoyable thing. We can clearly see its political um, its political views but at the same time it's not like other like feminist kind of uh, movies where we feel like the producers totally got eaten by what they wanted to do with their political views. I'm taking as an example Charlie's Angels. Um, it's so blatantly obvious that they want to, they, it's a feminist movie, but it's not done well. Here it's really well balanced. Um, we take time to develop the characters. Of course they have time, it's a, it's a, it's a series, but yeah, uh, whatever. They have time to develop the, the characters a little bit more. Um, the actors honestly are not bad at all. In, con in the country, I kind of like them uh, as a whole. Um, the cast is really well done. There's a lot of diversity also in the cast, um, which is a good thing. The story has a clear plot, knows where it's going, and it's an enjo it's an something that I can enjoy, and I can appreciate, because um, all TV shows are not like this. Some just tends to go a little bit everywhere and this one doesn't. It really stays on the main plot. Of course, there's like subplots and stuff, but you don't really get lost in the story. Now, for the flaws, because uh, there's a lot of them in this story. Um, this, th this series is kind of like monotone. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. It's not like I was bored or anything, but I was kind of waiting for a moment for it, for it to to start moving a little bit more. So it's just a shame that I got this moment at the last episode, the the last few minutes of the of the of the first season with Merlin. Uh, my favorite scene is that moment when he gets angry, when he gets angry because of what happened, and it is it's 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 such a shame that the the moment that made me go whoa is at the the, the last episode. I would like to have this energy throughout the whole thing. Another thing that bothered me is, um, yeah, I, I talked about the fate earlier, and I can't really. There's, there's something bothering me with those. Uh, so in phase, it's like mythical creatures, you know. You have 
um, like people with horns and people with snake skin and others and you have this particular kind who looks more human and since it's the it's the trib uh, Nimue belongs to I thought that all of them had powers um, but it doesn't look like this it doesn't it really doesn't look this way at all so what I'm asking is then what's the difference between them and humans because they look human they don't have horns or or wings or anything they really look human and most of the time you don't even see them cast spells so what are they then i just don't understand the two people that you see using magic in this show is uh, merlin and nimue and they're part of the same family that maybe it runs in blood and, or something but i thought that all of this tribe is supposed to use magic but none of them does like this 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 knight called the the, the green knight um i think it's it's his name um he's from the same tribe but he can't use magic i don't understand <laughs> aren't all of them supposed to be able to use magic and it's a magic show you know kind of like Nimue is supposed to be able to use magic and okay we are kind of told that she's not really controlling it and stuff like that but after after she found Merlin she kind of understands more how to use it um so makes so sometimes she's, she's in situations where it would be better for her to use magic but she doesn't and I'm like, you know how to use magic, you can put yourself out of this situation by using magic. Why aren't you using magic? And in here, this is some huge hole in the scenario to me. And things that just doesn't make sense and are easily brush, brushed off like, oh yeah, don't worry, it's, 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 it just happened like that in the show. And I kind of have problems with it. Those type of things easily take me out of the story. For example, the, there's this moment towards the end where... Um, uh, Morgana uh, Morgana fights with the widow and she wins we don't know how because in my opinion there was absolute, absolutely no reason for her to win since she was like thrown away to the walls uh, 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 last time they saw each other just by her like breathing on her face that's literally all she did so I guess I'm, I guess that she's more powerful than this but how did she beat her? I'm I'm wondering, and they just it didn't they didn't see they didn't show the scenes, so you can't even. That's, it's, yeah, to me that's a plot hole. I'm sorry, because those two, uh, in one side we, one side we have a typical human girl who doesn't have any sort of power. I don't even know if she knows how to fight, and on the other hand, you have someone who's who appears really strong, and who proves herself as being really strong. So what happened? I want to know that. <laughs> if you don't show me, I'm just gonna assume that you didn't really find a way to make her win. So you just went, okay, we're just gonna, not gonna show that part. And she's just gonna come up like, okay, I'm, a, I'm the widow now. Because I killed her and now I'm the, I'm the widow. But it doesn't work like that. And yeah, it's weird. It's really weird. Something else um, that bothered me is, uh, I'm not a fan of... Of, of romance in shows in general I think it just breaks the dynamic of the show um, any show not particularly this one um, but yeah the, the this 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 love thing going on between Arthur and Nimue is is just so boring to me I really didn't want to watch this something else that I really didn't like is um, Oh, the CGI. Whoa. Sometimes it was it was so poorly made. The scenes with the wolves. Oh, horrible. And there's just scenes to me that scream green screen. You can use a green screen, of course, but if it's too visible, it takes the viewer out of the story. Some part of the story in the plot are really not that original as well. The heal my father part. I saw it coming. Oh, I saw it coming so hard. You kind of, it's it's so obvious. It's you can use it, 
it's not because it's been done before that you can't use it but uh i don't know at least don't make it that obvious uh yeah if i had to rate it i'd give it uh maybe a six a six point five uh, I've, I've seen the score that the viewers uh, give on Rotten Tomatoes and it's uh, <laughs> 53% which is not a lot at all. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't that good either. It, it was, it was, I'm not gonna say that it was boring, but it was almost boring. You get what I'm trying to say? It's uh, meh plus. That's my rate. Meh plus. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more. Bye!